Okay then, um, I didn't particularly wait long for the poll I put on my channel, did I? Um, but yeah, uh, let's ju let's do a video about this because it looks like more people than not are actually interested in what I've got to say um, on this. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, basically earlier this afternoon, earlier today, and at the time of recording, it is Friday the oh, 13th, yeah, Friday the 13th, goodness me, um, of November. But I will attempt to get the article up for those that don't have Twitter. But basically, um, we have got a potential takeover with Sunland. So if you bear with me, I'll attempt to find this. But basically, um, the only the thing with the deal is that Stuart Donald and Charlie Methvin will still be retaining. Um, hang on a minute, let me just try and see if I can find it. Guardian Sunland, let's try it. Uh, basically, the Guardian broke it out. I think it's called Ed Arrington Louise Taylor. Now, I might very well be wrong there, but feel just bear with me. I have not prepared this video very well, have I? Uh, Guardian. And we want SAFC. Let's see if this does it. Right, here we go. Sunderland, the Guardian. It's got to be some sort of news. Right, here we go. So, I'll, read, I'll try and read the article out. And then you can judge you make up your own judgment from here. But for the, again, for those that don't have Twitter or who aren't as tech savvy, uh, here we go. So this was broken by Ed Aarons and Louise Taylor about two, according to the article, two o'clock on Friday afternoon. Sunderland agreed deal, takeover deal with 22-year-old Louis Dreyfus heir. Uh, now, Baron, hang on. Let's get that off the screen. Okay. The Sunderland owner, Stuart Donald, has a... Oh, hang on, this is terrible, this way. Right. The Sunderland owner, Stuart Donald, has agreed a deal to sell the club to a consortium led by minority shareholder Juan Satori and... Cairo Louis Dreyfus. Now, apology, tell me, please, someone tell me if I've got that wrong, because I probably have. I'm going to pronounce it like that for the rest of the video, but I'll probably will have, I'll probably make myself like an idiot, to be honest. The 22-year-old son of former Marseille owner Robert, I'm going to guess Robert Dreyfus, but looks set to, but Donald looks set to retain 15% of his shares. <laughs> Donald has been actively trying to sell Sunderland since the start of the year and entered into an exclusivity period with an anonymous buyer a few weeks ago. The Guardian can reveal that Sartori, the Uruguayan businessman and politician who currently owns 20% of the club and sits on the board, is behind the move to bring Louis Dreyfus, having made contact with him six months ago, about the possibility of acquiring a majority stake. It is understood that after months of ongoing due diligence and negotiations, the consortium made an offer two weeks ago to Donald, which was accepted, hang on, which was accepted at the beginning of this week. Sources close to the deal expected to be completed in the next fortnight. Sunderland have declined to comment, but it cancelled a scheduling meeting between with supporters groups on Thursday due to the advancement and sensitivity of takeover talks. It is understood that Donald, who led the consortium to take over the club from American businessman Ellis Short in April 2018, was keen to retain a portion of his shares, with former chief executive Charlie Methvin will also keep hold of his shares worth, as acres worth 5%. Along with twin brother Maurice, Louis Dreyfus is one of three heirs to his father's fortune following his death in 2009 and is estimated to have a trust fund worth more than £2 billion that is held by his mother, Margarita. I probably got that wrong again, so I apologise. She remains a majority minority shareholder in Marseille, having sold the majority of her shares in 2016. Sunderland are sixth in League One after 10 games. So that's the article. <laughs> So, ignoring my horrendous organisation skills, um, that's the article there. You can find it um, on the Guardian website. I'll try and put a link to it in the description below if you're interested in reading it for yourself. You don't have to take my word for it. I've just read out what it says. Um, but basically, yeah, Louis Dreyfus and Juan Satori have apparently led this consortium to buy Sunderland from Stuart Donald. Although Donald will retain 15% of his shares and Methvin 5%. So, what am I, so I've probably took four minutes to get to this. Uh, what are my thoughts on it? I'm on the fence about it. I'm on the fence as to what this is going to involve. Now, obviously, I'm not surprised whatsoever that Donald Methvin, as a result of this deal, will still retain some stake in the club. Honestly, Donald 15% and Methvin 5%. I do question, I don't get, I don't personally believe you can't call it a takeover if they're going to have little to no power in how the clubs actually run. But I can understand also the view that we wanted them gone completely. Um, I can understand that fa some fans will not be particularly accepting of this. Um, I personally want them gone. I want them to actually just go the same way everybody else does. I think we need a fresh start. I think they probably need a fresh start. But um, that's not what we're getting. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that this deal has involved them staying at the club. As for Louis Dreyfus, depends. Well, obviously, apparently his mother's allegedly worth £2 billion, um, which I'm guessing is inheritance 
I'm guessing was inherited um, of Robert um, of Robert Dreyfus, <clears throat> or is it Robert Louis Dreyfus? I don't know wh whatever the term is when he um, died in 2009. But so I, I don't know. It depends entirely for me on what Satori and Dreyfus have in mind for the club. Um, but obviously we'll have to wait and see. Apparently this takeover deal could be done within the next two weeks. Um, I'll be very interested to see William Story come out now, actually, because I know that he's been persistent that he's in the talks to buy Sunderland, but it's it's been widely viewed that he's not very creditable, but I guess he'll have to have his say, and, we'll see, and you can make your own judgment from there. What do you guys think of it? Um, apologies, this probably isn't a good video, but, you know, what do you think of the takeover? Personally, for me, I'm on the fence about it. I don't know one way or the other what to, what to think of it. Um, if Donald Meffin don't have much control in how the clubs run, then for me, that's a start. Um, but... It's it's only going to be a start if these are actually better than what's already... If, if Dreyfus and Satori, who I'm hoping is actually going to bother to take a more proactive role now, rather than just smile on camera all the time. Um, you know, if they have a more active... If he has a more active role and this new group has good plans for Sunderland, then we'll wait and see, won't we? In the meantime, let's just focus on the pitch and hopefully we'll win against MK Dons tomorrow. Take care, guys. Thanks very much for watching it if you've made it this far. And I'll catch you later on. And by the way, as well... We're doing a live, sorry, quickly, me, Sean uh, and Conrad tomorrow are doing a live stream on SCFC Fan TV for the MK Dons game. And if we can, I'm less than 20 subscribers away of 2,000. So if you could like the video, comment, subscribe, get people to subscribe to this channel, I would absolutely love to reach, to reach 2,000 subscribers. Um, but thanks very much for the support, guys, and I'll see you later.